welcome to the session on cloud computing and its application in this video we will talk about one of the full virtualization techniques or uh, full virtualization technology that is uh, vmware uh, in full virtualization primary hardware is replicated and made available to the guest operating system technology of vmware is based on the key concept of full virtualization either in desktop environment with the help of type 2 hypervisor or in server environment through type 1 hypervisor vmware implements full virtualization so let us try to uh, get a brief idea about full virtualization uh, reference model VMware is widely used as it tends to virtualize x86 architecture which executes unmodified on top of a hypervisor. With the introduction of hardware assisted virtualization, full virtualization is possible to achieve by support of hardware. But as we know, x86 guest operating system unmodified is a virtualized environment could be executed only with the use of dynamic binary translation since the set of sensitive instruction is not a subset of privileged instructions x86 x86 architecture design is not satisfying the first theorem of virtualization due to this different behavior occurs while such instructions are not running in ring 0 as shown in the figure which is normal in virtualization environment where guest os is running in ring 1 basically a trap is created and the method in which it manages the solution in which virtualization is applied on sx x86 in dynamic bi or the uh, sorry uh, bi a binary translation the trap encounters the translations of interrupts or offending the instructions into a corresponding set of instructions that establishes the same target without making exceptions in addition to expand or to enhance the performance the corresponding set of instruction is first cached so the translation is not important anymore for further encounter of the same instruction the diagram explains the full virtualization in a systematic manner the major benefit of this approach is that the guest can run unmodified in a virtualized environment which is an important feature for operating system whose source code does not exist binary translation is portable for full virtualization technique vmware also supports end user or desktop virtualization it is also called as vmware workstation architecture which we will uh, discuss in brief it provides a traditional benefit for virtual machines helps us to virtualize x86 pcs uh, runs like an application with a good performance so in the next slide understand how the vmware workstation architecture actually works basically there are three components the first one is the x86 hardware the second one is the host operating system the user application which and the host operating system also will have an vm and vmware driver and the third one is vmm and virtual instances which are built or which are created on top of this virtual machine monitor and application is installed in the guest operating system which provides the guest operating system with full hardware virtualization of the existing x86 hardware 
This is done by installing, as we discussed earlier, and specific VMware driver or VMware driver in the host operating system, which basically has two main functions. First one, it deploys a virtual machine manager that runs in the privileged modes. In short, it facilitates the activities of virtual machine manager and the VMware application. It also processes specific input output request eventually by replying to such request using system call. VMware as an application installs like an application of an existing computer system. All the virtual machine data stored on the existing file system itself. There is no separate disk partitioning. Native application or also we can call it as a user applications can run simultaneously with the virtual machine using existing device drivers. Virtual machine monitor technique requires access to the privileged CPU state. Complete control of the memory management unit is also gained through this virtual machine monitor or the MMU memory management unit access is gained through virtual machine monitor which works which runs on a privileged mode. VMware GSX server architecture or also called as server virtualization. GSX server is a server virtualization program for Windows and Linux produced by uh, VMware which is a subsidiary of EMC. In server virtualization, an application program such as GSX server divides a single physical server into multiple isolated virtual machines called as guest operating systems. Each of these guests runs on a virtual imitations of the hardware allowing it to function without modification. In short, the guest will not be able to modify the, uh, the host hardware but it will be running on an imitation of the server. A guest OS does not have to be on the same host of that host operating system. VMware GSS servers allows virtual machine to be remotely managed, automatically provisioned and standardized on secure and uniform platform. So the GSX server transforms the physical computers into pools of multiple virtual machines. Operating systems and applications are isolated in multiple virtual machine that resides on a single piece of hardware. So VMM, uh, sorry, VMware GS, GSX server architecture basically again divided into three components. One is the x86 uh, hardware unit. One more is the virtual machine or virtual instance unit and host operating system. Host operating system will have a VMware driver, a web, a web, sorry. The architecture is mostly designed to serve virtualization of web server, a daemon process called served, which runs and controls and manages the VMware application process. These applications are then connected to virtual machine instance by means of virtual driver, which are already installed in the host operating system. So all the user requests for virtual are routed through virtual machine management or sorry VMM routed from the web server through VMM by this VM driver. Architecture of VMware ESXi is the next generation hypervisor providing 
a new foundation for virtual infrastructure this innovative architecture operates independently from any general purpose operating system offering improved security increased reliability and specified management next slide we will discuss about vmware exi server architecture in brief VMA, uh, vmware exi architecture comprises of uh, underlying operating system called as vm kernel and process that runs on top of it vm kernel provide means of running all processes on the system including management application and agents as well along with the virtual machine it has control of all hardware devices on the server and manages resources for the application the main purpose to run on top of vmware are the main sorry the main processes which runs on top of vm uh, vm kernel are dcu that is direct control user interface the low level configuration and management interface accessible through consoles of the server the virtual machine monitor which is the process that provides execution environment for virtual machine various agents used to enable high level vm infrastructure management from remote applications now vmware kernel is designed by vmware and provide certain functionality similar to that is found in other operating systems it is designed specifically to support running multiple virtual machines and provide uh, such core functionalities like resource scheduling io stack device drivers vm kernel uses a simple in house memory file system to hold its ex esxi uh, configurations like log files uh, patches etc so let us try to get an overview about dcui that is direct console user interface it is a local user interface that is displayed only for the console of exi system it provides bios like menu driver interface for interacting with the system its main purpose is initial configuration and troubleshooting other processes which runs on vm kernel are uh, hosted process which provides a programmatic interface for vm kernel uh, and is used for direct client connections vpxa process is an agent used to connect the uh, virtual centers we have uh, syslog uh, which is used uh, to maintain the log logging or remote logging so common information model broker or also called as cim model is an open standard that defines how computing resources can be represented and managed it enables a framework for agentless standard based monitoring of hardware resources for esxi to sum up on esxi architecture it offers uh, there are a lot of advantages one is a little state information uh, and esxi system can be uh, treated for uh, a practical purpose has a stateless compute node better security uh, uh, hardware uh, reliability also is uh, evident in uh, this server architecture so the last topic related to vmware uh, is vmware cloud provider stack or it's also called as vcps which we will discuss in uh, brief the vmware cloud provider stack solution offers cloud provider an opportunity to offer their customer a subscription based vmware software defined data center a solution on a bare metal elastic infrastructure so in the next slide let us try to understand uh, 
different components or different layers of VMware cloud solution and we will try to understand each one of them in brief. So we have the cloud infrastructure in the bottom we have a data center which is also called as a V center. The next this is called as the inf uh, and above that is the V cloud. This totally falls under infrastructure uh, virtualization. This above uh, infrastructure virtualization we have platform virtualization which is called as a V fabric and the third one above that is a application virtualization that is nothing but Zebra. So in infrastructure virtualization in VMware we have a V center and uh, uh, let us try to understand what is this V center. Okay, V center server is a centralized management utility for VMware and is used to manage virtual machines. Multiple ESXi hosts and all dependent component from a single centralized location. So vSphere is, uh, is the name of a VMware server virtualization product. It, it is also known as it was formerly known as VMware infrastructure and it consists of ES, ESXi uh, type 1 hypervisor. Uh, it is the fastest uh, uh, the, uh, VSPR is the industry leading computer virtualization platform. So let us try to uh, understand what is this V cloud. We have already uh, seen what is V sphere and V center. Now it is V cloud. V cloud is nothing but a suit. Uh, VMware V cloud suit is an enterprise grade cloud infrastructure and management solution that combines VMware V spheres. So the next one is platform virtualization and we are talking about vFabric. vFabric is nothing but an agent based monitoring system that automatically uh, collects the matrix on performance and availability of hardware resources, operating system, middleware and applications in physical uh, etc. Uh, vFabric uh, is a set of component that facilitates the development of scalable web application on top of the virtualized infrastructure. vFabric is a collection of components for application monitoring uh, which we have already discussed and the last one we will be talking about is Zimbra. Zimbra is a software as a service solution for Office automation, messaging and collaboration completely hosted in cloud and accessible from anywhere. So we have just discussed about VMware in uh, uh, brief. Uh, it's uh, desktop virtualization, server virtualization which consists of GSX and ESXi servers architecture and also VMware cloud solution. Thank you.